Robin, welcome to Sheffield United. You've had to wait a little while for this day with international duty and quarantine. So how pleased are you now to finally come through the door at Bramall Lane? Uh, no, but I'm, I'm really happy to be here now. Uh, like you said, uh, I needed five days of quarantine. Uh, that's not what you want when, you, when you're coming back from the national team. So, but uh, you need to respect the rules and uh, now I'm just really happy to be here, uh, join the team uh, and train with you guys. Good to be back in England. You had that spell with Everton, didn't you, last season? So, is it a target of yours to, to come back to England at some point? Yeah, it was. It was. It was um, a big wish from me and my family, uh, actually. Um, already, when we spoke with uh, with uh, Rome to to maybe leave the club, uh, I had a big wish to to return to to UK uh, because. I mean, um, we had a good last year uh, here, um, me and my family, uh, when we were at, at Everton and, and uh, we wanted to come back because we liked the lifestyle, um, uh, how everything works, um, the people. So, no, uh, it was a big wish uh, from us um, uh, to come back. You're an international goalkeeper of some repute. I can imagine there were quite a few suitors who would like to have taken you. So what was it about Sheffield United that made you want to come here? I mean, uh, I didn't play the, the games uh, last season against Sheffield, but I was on the bench and I, we, uh, we needed to fight really hard, I remember. Um, and I saw a team that... Uh, a team and a club who needs to be in Premier League. Uh, for me, Sheffield is not a championship club. Uh, and to join this journey and, and, um, and fight to come back, uh, I want to be a part of it. Uh, so yeah, I just want to help the team um, and, and uh, come back to Premier League, um, hopefully already this season. Very early days, but how well have you settled into life here at Sheffield United? Good, uh, good, especially here in in, in the in the team. Um, I met Sander Berger already first day, and, and uh, we understand each other really well because uh, it's similar the language. But uh, also the other the other lads, um, they are easy to talk with. They they helped me already. From day one, when I came inside for the first time, so uh, now um, great. It feels like there is a great team spirit, um, good coaches. Um, so no, I'm, I, I'm really happy to be here. When you get the nod to come in and play, you'll be you know, in decent shape because you've obviously played on the international scene a couple of games with Sweden in the last week or so. So you'll be ready to go straight away. I am. I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling in, in a good shape now. Uh, like you said, we had two games last week um, against Spain and Greece, and uh, yeah, of course I wanted to come back uh, and play already the first game after national break. But but uh, it is how it is, and uh, I'm just looking forward to next game. How much are you looking forward to, to playing in the championship? I'm saying it's got a good reputation abroad, and in Sweden you get a lot of championship football. I'm sure back home. So is it a competition that you're looking forward to, to getting involved in? Of course, of course. I mean, uh, it's a tough league. Uh, it's a tough league, and um, there is no no easy games. Um, but I think that's good for us because we need to to keep the focus every single game um, and just fight for every point. Um, and uh, with that team we have now, uh, I expect that we keep calm, have focus and just fight for each other, for the fans, for the club to come back to Premier League. And a special moment will it be for you when you finally walk out at Bramall Lane in front of nearly 30,000? I'm sure it's a moment that you're, you're looking forward to, isn't it? Of course, of course. I mean. I will not lie, I, I, I saw some clips on, on uh, YouTube and uh, of course uh, Sander told me as well that, that um, it's an amazing atmosphere. Um, so now I'm just looking forward to it.